Hello, everybody. Thank you all for your wonderful comments yesterday on the video. It's done, it's dusted. Uh, you've seen it. I'll explain why the documentary that I filmed can't really go on this channel because YouTube kind of penalizes people for that and views and stuff. Anyway, uh, today, bright sunshine. It's time to get back and get this place in order because I've neglected it for a bit. And the first order of any tidying up is clearing up the mess you've already made. Don't make any more until it's done. And it's everywhere. Literally everywhere. And what I want to do, Angelina's going to be doing some jobs in here now it's been cleared. Rick and I are going to be clearing all of this lot. And then if we get enough time, I want to get rid of that tree. Or certainly start. So let's get to it. I'm back everyone. I am in the land of France. I also too had to go away um, for emergency work in London. But Rick and Phil are working away, tidying up everything that got basically messed up and everything. And today I'm actually going to be transforming and I am back again at the front garden by the chapel. Looking really lovely, I'm sure you agree. This is a flower circle, or it's meant to be. And uh, it's just a bunch of weeds now. And the only thing that I do have here is a lavender, which I'm gonna dig up, but I wanna transform this. And it's been a plan for a while since basically last year. So I've got the equipment. I know what I need to do. So I'm gonna get on with it. And also, obviously I started seeding the flower seeds, which have germinated. So I'm gonna get on with that. And hopefully it's gonna look beautiful. You're going, go on then. All right, struggle with the video camera right now because I haven't filmed for so long. Um, so here we are, uh, grass is cut. Um, the boys are just removing the stones. Um, we, we actually got some stones in and around the circle, like for instance here, the granite. So we'll use that to rebuild uh, a wall somewhere here around the moat because we've actually got decorative stones. And I have right in the middle over there, dug up a lavender plant, which I'm not sure what I'll do with for now but uh, yeah I've got other ideas for other plants obviously to go in there. So the idea is to put this uh, palm plant in the middle of the circle which will obviously grow into massive massive tree which will be beautiful but uh, yeah I need to get it out of the pot and soak it in water first. Here's the first one going in it's my uh, trough which is filled full of water lilies that collects the rainwater from the chateau literally and these will end up in the moat but they were safe and secure away from the creatures that eat the greenery uh, and roots in our moat until we've uh, obviously got rid of them which i think we have you would have seen me raving about these orange and yellow flowers all year long and how they have managed to flower even throughout winter obviously their heads here and flowering season is the best and so there is quite a lot on display they uh produce uh, seeds on their heads which is great which means I can continue collecting lots of seeds and planting and I have quite a few germinated so that is what will be around the stone circle and obviously the palm tree will be in the middle I think it'll be really beautiful and what I love about this is they are so bushy that they are like a natural weed suppressant uh, but I will definitely put a, a weed suppressant mat down underneath but it's a really nice display don't you think and of course, I'm not quite finished. I've got another flower to go around it as well in mind to add uh, a lot more color than just yellow and orange. So check these next ones out. And here they are. So I've got a bunch of orange stems, pink stems, yellow stems, uh, dark leaf, uh, which is 
really awesome. So these are actually vegetables. Uh, they're like, uh, I don't remember what they are, but yeah, these are like root vegetables, a bit like a salad. So yeah, I'm going to be utilizing the beautiful colors of these to add uh, a bit of pop and these are actually used either for eating or landscaping and you can really 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 see why they're just gorgeous all right I didn't even think about filming that bit because we weren't actually planning on doing this circle is marked out rotavator's running let's get this into something that's a actual stone circle of plants <laughs> Scarifying is done. We're just defining the uh, circle back again because the soil had uh, basically spurted out everywhere. And then I'll be able to lay down weed suppressant. Shush, yeah, I will be doing this, no worries. So here it is, the machine that we are waiting to finalize and level everything out. Our scary fire machine, do you want to lift it? We tend to use it in spring and, well, just before the winter because you'll see it's got blades all alongside and that will literally just cut through that uh, ground about two, three inches and be able to level it out. So let's start that mean machine. If you start it for me, I'll be able to use it. No, you start it. No, come on, it's a hard pull. Now the area is ready and done, a lovely and soft soil in there. It's time to cover it with this weed suppressant. It's uh, folded in, it's about two meters wide, so we're gonna need two strips of that and turn it into a circle, and that'll be beautiful. In French, they also call it bash, so let's bash it down then. Well, maybe not this way.
Okay, so here we are. The basic principle has been done and the bash has been laid, i.e. wheat present. If uh, any of you are interested to acquire such a high-tech, sophisticated uh, equipment <laughs> and would like to know more, uh, it's basically, yeah, here we go like plastic lines weaved through. And what happens is that there is different varieties. So this one I've chosen is uh, it'll let the water through in between uh, the weaving, the imperfection. So when it rains, it's gonna get water, but also the main thing is it's gonna keep the moisture right underneath there. The soil will be lovely and moist. Obviously this isn't the final result, but it's starting to take shape and I'm super, super excited. And I think uh, this chapel area needs lot lots more love than it's currently getting all right on to the next bit here is the next bit that's happening we've got these beautiful lime colored stones which would be really beautiful um as the edging so we bought this last year it's been sitting because we, we were hoping we'll complete this but yeah there's a lot of them enough for two circles seeing as though we have two circles but we're working just on one this is about 10 centimeters by 10 by roughly about i'd say five or seven centimeters deep uh it'll make really nice feature and again brighten up that whole area just like the trees are currently doing so we need to get quite a lot of them from here all the way to the back or shall i say the front where the chapel is and i got myself a nice young strong man to help me with this job so i'm going to be stacking this into the wheelbarrow and rick is going to be taking it across to where the area we're working on and this has been derelict area this is the next project coming up i've been saying that for about a year but it will happen this year hopefully anyway uh but yeah pretty 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 sounds thanks rick for helping i really appreciate it you're always welcome <laughs> and philly is obviously emptying out trailer so there's lots to do we've got two wheelbarrows to work from so i'm gonna put the phone down Excellent. So they are both here, those wheelbarrows. Rick's here too. Very important, I think. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to start literally laying them out on the edge that will tighten this whole circle. And then we're going to start on uh, basically putting plants in. But at least it's going to start to trans tr uh, transform this area, which I'm really, really looking forward to it. And uh, I think Rick's enjoying sunbathing in the sun. Getting the tan in France, working with my friends. Can't be better. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is all laid out roughly anyways uh, we just need to get a few more for that but you can see it's starting to take shape which is absolutely brilliant i've got a couple of things in order like the metal pins which i'm going to need for the middle and uh, we'll get some sand on monday when we will actually be um, basically solidifying the edge properly but for now it's plants can go in ish okay so i've got the uh, palm plant which i mentioned earlier it's going to go in the middle here so i'm going to go and get that now cut it open a bit crisscross uh, and then uh, plant it in there and it's going to be just the start of something beautiful great so here is my palm tree it's looking rather small and delicate but it will be a huge luscious feathery looking tree in the middle outlining everything so i can't wait for that my first job is to try and get it out of its pot and here it is and as you can see these white bits are the, its roots that have come through so i need to be able to get it out it has survived the winter sadly i was meant to have planted this last year but things did not work out um i think i'm going to be using a pair of snips to try and get it out and uh, hope for the best and try and be very very delicate with it so let's get on with it scissors seem to have worked better than the snips a lot faster they're very very sharp and heavy duty so that helps to have the right tools i think i'm done look at that it's just waiting to come out so i need to carefully get it out but look at that it's huge all right 
might just cut it in half all the way up so it helps it to slide out easily. It's a big reveal. Wow, that's excellent. Look at that. There we go. Beauty. Lovely and soaked. I've left it to soak up some water. Now I really have to break up some of the roots before I plant it because when it's compact, uh, it can't spread out. So it's used to being in a pot. So we need it to know that it's free to live. All is done. It's just literally ready and waiting to be planted. So what I've done here, this is where it's gonna be in the middle. I've pre-cut my um, plastic here, the weeds are present, into, well, this little opening. Should be enough anyways. I just need to dig this out and then uh, plant my uh, palm in there and see how that goes and of course most importantly water it because as you can see the sun is really really strong now and uh, yeah we need to make sure that it's going to be growing okay so i've just spent literally half an hour just dealing gently trying to get the plant out of a further smaller plant pot this is and centimeters by 10. It was simply planted into a bigger pot, which isn't supposed to happen. I've just discovered it. It's just horrendous. So yeah, so now I need more soil. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that's all done. I'm just gonna cover it up. It's watered. Let's keep the moisture in by covering it up back again and leave it to rest. Yeah, there's a lot to do, but it's a great start. So here it is, all done for today anyways. And it's looking really nice and it's the start of something really beautiful. So on Monday, we have white pebbles to come because they will be stopping, uh, well, any light going through the, uh, the weed suppressant. We're also gonna get some um, sand so that we can level these out and uh, they will look beautiful as well. Um, and then obviously we'll plant some flowers as well uh, that will be in and around here, which is gonna be looking nice. So I think the finished result will be basically Monday, Monday or Tuesday. I've ordered some pegs as well to hold the, uh, where the two weed suppressants meet, um, but those don't arrive until Tuesday, it says. But the start of something new, and I think more beautiful things are to come. And earlier in the video, I mentioned we have two circles. This is the second one. This one is the one on the right. And the reason I'm not starting and doing anything on this one is because we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous flowering bush. Uh, so I've got to wait until that one flowers. And this one's just about to ready and pop. This one's a bit more orangey colored. As you can see, they're almost ready to open. So they only seem to flower for about two weeks. So I think basically I'll get the first circle over there done. And then I'll jump onto this one at some point. But at least I've had practice with the first one. And this one is looking rather beautiful anyways. It's been a long, hard day in the sun. Everyone's exhausted and sweaty, Betty. We need to rinse up, have shower, acknowledge a packed pat that we did a great job, really. And we've got to rush off to our newly acquired business, do some work as usual. Yeah, uh, I will now be having a quick shower after making this video and going and working behind the bar for the rest of the evening and then setting up everything ready for our charity event tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna be a big day as well. So. Uh, no rest for the wicked, as they say? No, no, indeed. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> see you later. Say bye.